Blessed be your name. Worship to your name. Thank you for the privilege of knowing you. Thank you for the privilege of relationship. Thank you for in you we live and move and have our being. Blessed be your name. Bless this service this morning. Let not one person live here the same way they have come. We worship you. We honor you. In Jesus precious name. Give the Lord a big clap of hand and be seated in the presence of the Lord. Blessed be your name. In Jesus precious name. Everyone excited to be in this blessing Sunday service say the loudest Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 and 2 and it shall come to pass that if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The subject is the blessing of the word. The blessing of the word of God. Our objective is to understand the channels of blessing through the word of God. By way of introduction, the Bible makes it clear that the word of God is calculated for the good of the recipients thereof. The word of God is calculated for the good of the recipients of the word. Jeremiah 29, 10 and 11. Jeremiah 29, 10 and 11. It says, For thus saith the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word toward you in causing you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Say the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. 
to give you an expected end. I'll perform my good word. Good word. The word of God is calculated for the good of the recipients. It's calculated for the good of the people of God. Now I prophesy today, this word shall do you good in the name of Jesus. And one of the good the word does is the release of the blessing. One of the good the word does to the recipients of the word is the release of the blessing. So, we are looking at the various things, ways in which the word releases the blessing. What are the various ways in which the word of God releases the blessing? Number one, the word of God directly releases the blessing into the lives of the recipients. Directly. Direct release of the blessing into the lives of the recipients. We read already Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 and 2 where he said, It shall come to pass that if you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord your God, to observe to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. All these blessings shall come on thee. Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3. So the blessings shall come on you as you hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord your God. Psalm 1 verse 1 to 3 said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leave also shall not wither. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. When a man delights in the law of the Lord, he cannot escape the blessing. To delight in the law of the Lord means you can't escape the blessing. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 32. Proverbs 8 and in verse 32. He said, Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Or blessed are they that hear my word. Blessed are they that keep my ways. So the word of God directly releases the blessing into the lives of the recipients. And what does that mean? The word of God releases the empowerment unto progress and success into the lives of the hearers or the recipients. That is what the blessing is all about. The empowerment unto progress and success. The word of God releases the empowerment unto progress and success. You receive the word, you are empowered to progress. You receive the word, you are empowered power to succeed. You receive the word, you are empowered to progress. You receive the word, you are empowered to succeed. That is the first dimension. The word of God directly releases the blessing into the lives of the recipients. Somebody receiving this word this morning, the blessing of the Lord is coming upon you right now. If you are saying amen, say a louder amen. If you are saying amen, shout the loudest amen. amen. Everything that is called a curse in your life this morning is deleted and wiped out by this blessing. In Jesus' name. Number two, the word of God releases peace into the lives of the recipients. Releases peace. Isaiah chapter 48 verse 18. 
Isaiah 48, 18. He said, oh, that thou hast hearkened to my commandments. Then had your peace been as a river. And your righteousness as the waves of the sea. If you hearken to my commandments, you will have peace like a river. And fulfillment like the waves of the sea. And what is peace all about? It means that the word of God is your channel of wholeness. Peace means wholeness and fullness. The word of God is your channel of wholeness and fullness. Wholeness and fullness. In the life of the recipients. Wholeness and fullness means you look and there is nothing missing and nothing lacking. Everything is whole. Everything is full. There is nothing missing and there is nothing lacking. Again, I announce today in the life of every listener here and everyone connected around the world, whatever is missing in your life shall receive restoration today. I decree your stepping into the realm of wholeness and into the realm of fullness. You believe that shout the Lord and say amen. amen. Lift up your right hand and say, I, I am receiving the word of God. I am receiving the blessing of the Lord. I am receiving the blessing of peace. I am receiving wholeness. I am receiving fullness, nothing missing, and nothing lacking in my life by the word in the name of Jesus. Say the Lord say amen. You know, confession brings possession. So when I say it, you say it, say it with audacity. Say, I am receiving the word into my life today. The word is releasing blessing into my life. I am receiving the empowerment to succeed and to progress. I am receiving peace, wholeness, fullness, nothing missing, nothing lacking in my life in Jesus' name. So shall it be. That is number two. Number three. The word of God reveals the inheritance of the saint to them, of the saints to them. The word of God reveals the inheritance of the saints to them. It reveals to you what is yours in God. I already told you, now if you read Deuteronomy 28, this time around you read from verse 1 all the way to verse 13. You hearken diligently unto the commandments, the voice of the Lord your God, to observe, to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, that the Lord your God will set you on high above all the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you. Blessed shall thou be when you go out, blessed, and so on and so forth. That is your inheritance. In Second Peter chapter 1 and in verse 3 and in verse 4. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3 and in verse 4. You see, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. He has given us promises of our inheritance that by this we might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through laws. The word of God communicates to us our inheritance in God. And what does that do to us? When God reveals what belongs now, summary, what does that do to us? Revelation is the starting point of possession. Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret things belong to God. But the things that are revealed belong to us. Revelation is the starting point of possession. The, the word of God reveals to us what belongs to all, us in God. So that we can know what to pursue to possess. Revelation is the starting point of possession. That is how the word blesses us. 
The word shows you that divine health is your portion. Shows you that divine preservation is your portion. That you can't be killed before your time. And then revelation brings possession. Somebody say amen. Somebody say a louder amen. Somebody shout the loud most amen. I see someone here possessing what is yours in this season. Possessing what is yours in this season. Possessing what is yours in this season. And no devil shall stop you from accessing what is yours in this season. You believe that shall the Lord and say amen. Lift your right hand and say I receive the revelation of my possession. And I possess my possession in this season. In the name of Jesus. Say the loudest amen. amen. How does the word of God bless us? Number four. The word of God shows us. The examples of people. Who received the word. And the outcome of their lives. The examples of people. Who received the word. And the positive outcome. Of their lives. Or the blessed outcome. Of their lives. It shows us the example. That is. Look at this person. And look at that person. And look at this person. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 to 5. Genesis 12 1 to 5. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham. Get thee out of thy country. And from thy kindred. And from thy father's house. Unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee. And make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abraham departed as the Lord has spoken unto him. And Lot went with him. And Abraham was 70 and 5 years old when he departed out of Haran. And Abraham took Sarah his wife. And Lot his brother's son and all their substance that he had gathered. And the souls that he had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan. And into the land of Canaan they came. And you look at chapter 13 and in verse 2. And then you see how. The outcome of Abraham. And Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. So you see their lives. You see their outcome. And what does that do to you? The examples of the blessed. Bet faith in the believer to believe. Seeing the examples of people who ended in the blessing from the word bets faith to believe for the same it bets faith seeing the examples of those who ended in the blessing from the word of God bets faith to believe for the same that was what happened to Mary in Luke chapter 1 verse 36 and to verse 38 when the Lord by the angel gave her an example. You see, and behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. With God, nothing shall be impossible. With God, nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from him. Somebody say amen. You know nothing communicates principles like, exam like examples. Nothing communicates principles like example, And nothing bets faith like examples. When I was rededicating my life to Christ on the 12th of May 1986. Which will be 36 years. Already 36 years in May. When the Lord, I was having an encounter and the Holy Ghost was ministering, speaking to me. So why wouldn't you give your life to Christ? What will you lose if you give your life to me? And I was looking and I, I couldn't see any loss. Then he pointed somebody to me. He said, look at that man. He's serving me. Look at his life. What is he losing? And I looked at the man. He was comfortable. He was doing well. Everything was perfect. His life was enviable. This is life. Enviable life. And I say, I can't see any loss in that man. I didn't need any other explanation. That was it. We know what God will do tomorrow if we saw what he did yesterday. And we know what God will do with another if we saw what he did with one. 
Sila. And so I announce to you today, every good thing you have seen in the lives of the patriarchs of the Bible or seen in our lives here that you desire in your own life, I declare the release right now. Every good thing you have seen in my life, you have seen on this altar, you have seen in this spiritual lineage and you have seen in, in, in scripture, you desire in your life, I declare a restoration right now. If you believe that, shout the Lord and say, Amen. Lift your right and say, I am following the examples of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises and that shall be my portion. Shout the loudest, amen. amen. Is anybody getting anything to hear this morning? So the word of God blesses you by the direct release of the blessing. The word of God blesses you through the release of peace, which is wholeness and fullness. The word of God blesses you through the revealing your inheritance to you, what belongs to you, and then you can access them. And then the word of God blesses you by showing you the examples of people who received the word and they were blessed. And fifthly, the word of God reveals the way to the blessing. It reveals to the saint the way to the blessing. Do this and do this and you will be here. The way to the blessing. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 and 2 has been a constant reference. You hearken diligently to the, to, the, to the voice of the Lord your God. Then this will bless you. It reveals to you the way to the blessing. The way to the blessing. Hallelujah. And how is that? And I'll, I'll just say it direct. How is that? The word of God reveals blessing specific instructions. Blessing specific instructions. There are many instructions in, in, in scripture. But there are instructions that are blessing specific. And I'll give you just three, three of them. What are the blessing specific instructions? First or A. However you are numbering it. Kingdom service. You shall serve the Lord your God. And he shall bless. That is instructions that are directly linked to the blessing. You shall serve and you shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless thy bread and thy water and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. If you are not tired of serving me, I won't be tired of blessing you. You want me to bless you, serve me. You shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless your bread and your water. That is blessing specific. That is tied to the blessing directly. What other one is blessing specific? Soul winning. Soul winning. Luke chapter 22 verse 35. And he said unto them, When I sent you without pause and scrip and shoes, lacked he anything, and they said nothing. When I sent you on assignment. When I sent you to preach. When you were involved in touching lives for me. Did you lack anything? They said nothing. Any other blessing? Specific instruction. Titan. Titan. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. All the way. To verse, say, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now herewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. Someone say a loud amen. And all nations shall call you blessed. After from the tight to being called blessed. Is it valid for today? Hebrews chapter 7 verse 8. Verse 7 and 8. Verse 8. And, he, 
And without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. And here men that die receive tithes, but there he receiveth, he is still receiving them, of whom it is witnessed that he lives. These are blessing specific. These are instructions you obey that tithe connect you direct to the blessing. There may be more, but we will rest on that. These are blessing specific instructions. Now, conclusion of this morning, and of course, you know that the blessing specific instruction also refers to the word. The word of God is part of the blessing specific structure. That is, word intake. You can put that as number four. Or D, word intake. We read that already. If you hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord your God to obey his word, Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 2, that all these blessings shall come upon you. Word intake. Now, having landed there, the question is, what do I do with the word? Now, this will be general instructions for the first and second services. What do I do with the word? Because we are talking of the blessing of the word of God. And now we have come to the point where we have also seen that the word of God gives us blessing specific Instruction. So, what do we do with the word to see the blessing? Number one, read the word. Read. Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. It says, blessed is he that readeth. Just reading. Hello? Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. Read the word. The reading of the word is so refreshing. It's so exciting. It's such a blessing to read the word. Have a regular reading schedule for the word. Very important. Just read the word. There was a time in my life, young man growing up, where I would take 40 chapters of the Bible a day. 20 in the morning, 20 in the evening, and finish the Bible in one month. One month. That's Genesis to Revelation. Holidays, those kind of times. Intense reading. And 40 chapters takes me three hours to read. Hallelujah. Intense, intense, intense. Blessed is he that read it. Blessed is he that read it. Blessed is he that read it. Read the word. Number two. Hear the word. Hear the word. We just saw that also in Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. Thank God we can both read and hear now. Now you are hearing the word that is being preached. You are hearing it now. There's Bible on, 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 on audio that you can also hear. Hear the word. Blessed is he that read it and hear. Number three, delight in and meditate in the word. Delight in the word. Meditate in the word. Psalm 1 verse 1 to 3. Psalm 1 verse 1 to 3. Say, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. So, when you, when you delight in the word, and you think in the word, you think the word, you are on the way to the blessing. Delight in and meditate in the word. Somebody getting something here, say amen. Somebody getting something here, say amen. And finally, number four. Is that number four? Act on or obey the word. Act on or obey the word. Blessed is he 
that read it, that hear, that keep. Revelation 1, 3. Deuteronomy 28, 1 and 2. Don't just read the word. Don't just hear the word. Don't just meditate on the word. Do the word. If he said, you shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless. Determine to serve God so you can see the blessing. If he said, bring in all your tithes into the storehouse and then I'll open the windows of heaven. Do that. Do the war. The blessing is not just in the hearing. It's part of the blessing. But the ultimate blessing is in the doing of the word. I see somebody here stepping into the realm of a blessing that the devil cannot reverse. Say a loud amen. amen. Say a loud amen. amen. Say a loud amen. amen. Say a louder amen. amen. How many of you received that word today? Something happened to you. Something dropped on you. Something exploded on you. Stand on your feet with a loud shout of victory. A louder shout of victory. The loud most shout of victory. Lift up your hands. We are going to take some little time of praying. You are going to lift up your hands and you are going to ask the Lord. And first of all, thank the Lord for his word to you today. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for the gift of your word. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your refreshing word. Thank you for your exciting word. Thank you for your interesting word. Lift your voice and begin to thank the Lord. Go ahead and appreciate it. Go ahead. in Jesus precious name 